Hello and welcome to ITNs. So till now we have seen some of the important things about Azure, right? Like creating an account. Uh, I mean, I would say creating a free account, right? And we we have created a budget also for that, right? Um, so we have covered a, quite a bit on this. Um, it's just at a tip of the iceberg, right? We have not. Uh, we we have lot to cover. It's we have not even covered one person of uh, Azure. So we have lot to cover. So please stay uh, focused and please stay motivated. It's amazing technology, right? And it's an, uh, one of the most upcoming technology, right? So so once you clear the certification, um, it will actually give you a, a enormous uh, growth uh, for your career. All right. So uh, in this session, what we want to talk about is uh, about the virtual machines, right? So. Uh, Yes, we have seen some concepts about cloud computing and some concepts about a uh, virtual machine. Now, in this session, we are going to talk about uh, virtual machine in terms of Azure. Right? So, what are the Azure uh, virtual machine types? That is what we are going to start with. And then we are going to also look at what are the virtual machine configurations that are available with Windows and then with Linux. right? So the, with that, we are going to end this session. Um, but in the next session, we are going to touch base on some other things. So uh, for this session, I'll I'll see you in the class. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So in this session, we are going to look at uh, virtual machines and the various types of virtual machines that we can use for any any virtual machine, be it uh, for Windows or for Linux. Um, and then we'll move on to some uh, discussion on storage, right? So that's all we're going to cover in this session. And next session, we're going to cover about uh, some concepts about networking and uh, high availability, right? Okay. so. Let's talk about virtual machines. Okay, so what are virtual machines? So virtual machines are software emulation of physical hardware, right? Now, uh, as you as you might have seen in my previous uh, or earlier sessions, that I have actually explained the concepts about virtual machines. I have also explained the concepts about cloud computing. So if you want, you can actually go back and refer to those uh, sessions for more information. All right. Um, so coming back to virtual machines and uh, on this session, so yes, uh, virtual machines are software emulation of physical hardware, right? Virtual machines will run on the physical server on Azure, right? So like how we can run a virtual machine on, on a laptop uh, or on any of the server uh, on the on-prem, the same concept, we can run the virtual machines on Azure. So virtual machines are representation of IaaS of Azure offering. So you, you remember we have three offerings in Azure, right? One is IaaS, that is infrastructure as a service. Then we have PaaS, that is platform as a service. And then the last one, software as a service, that is SaaS, right? So when we're talking about virtual machines, it's actually representation of IaaS of Azure offering. Okay, so when, when we are um, working on uh, configuring the virtual machines on Azure um, or any uh, uh, other um, platform on Azure, then we don't have to worry about uh, physical hardware, right? That will be uh, taken care by uh, Azure or by Microsoft. We only need to be worrying about the configuration bit about the virtual machine, right? So what are the benefits that virtual machine provides? So it actually provides total control on operation operating system. And uh, yet yeah, there is a typo out here. It should be operating system and applications running. Right? It is used for deployment of servers and applications for testing, de development and production workload. Right? It can be used for public, private or hybrid scenarios. Right? You can have uh, virtual machines running on a 
on a public uh, cloud or private cloud or, and, or you can have a mix of the two uh, that is hybrid cloud right all right so let's move on and let's look at what are the types of virtual machines that are available so these are the broadly uh, classification of uh, virtual machines right there are a series which are like the entry level vms uh, and can be used for the um, very very uh, low level of uh, workload yeah then there are bs series uh, that is for economical burstable uh, vms d series are general purpose vms e series are heavy memory usage vms f series is for compute optimized vms g series is for memory and storage optimized vms h series is for high performance vms ls series is for storage optimized vms m series is for largest memory optimized vms and then we have lastly that is n series for gpu optimized vm right right uh, let's look at the uh, broader classification the types of uh, the virtual machines that are available okay right? so for general purpose if where you are uh, you are going to use uh, uh, balanced uh, cpu and uh, memory ratio and you are going to have it only to utilize for small to medium database or for low to medium traffic uh, web servers then these are the sizes of the vms that are available yeah b dsv3 etc 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 yeah and then it is um, compute optimized uh, that is fsv2 where you will have the high cpu to memory ratio and it's good for medium traffic uh, uh, that is the uh, for the e-commerce uh, or for network appliances or for batch processes and application servers right it's not good for uh, uh, heavy usage yeah it's only for uh, uh, medium sort of workload yeah then the next one is for memory optimized uh, where you have esv3 uh, ev3 so and so forth where you you get to the virtual machines with high memory to cpu ratio and it's great for relational database servers uh, also for medium to large caches uh, which we are going to cover in the coming sessions and for in memory analytics like uh, data science and all so all those things we are going to uh, cover in the series um, yeah next one is storage optimized uh, and that is lsv2 and it has high disk throughout uh, throughput and i o idea it's ideal for big data sql no sql databases data warehousing uh, such as big data and all and large uh, transactional databases right all right now let's move to G uh, gpu so we have those like n series uh, where you have nc ncv2 so and so forth and then uh, it's actually specialized virtual machines targeted for heavy graphic rendering and video editing uh, applications it is also used for model training and uh, inter uh, inferencing with uh, deep learning okay it's available with high uh, or uh, multiple gpus okay and then the last one is high performance uh, compute that is hp uh, series or h series and it's the fastest and most powerful cpu virtual machines with optional uh, high throughput network interfaces so these are the types or the categories of the virtual machines that are available on the azure now let's talk about the storage part right so for storage we have four parts in azure there is uh, ultra disk premium ssd standard ssd and standard hdd okay so depending on the use you can actually uh, deploy the storage uh, uh, and make use out of it yeah so for ultra disk you would use it where you have very intensive workloads such as sap uh, hana and uh, other uh, applications which are very resource intensive on the disk uh, right and then the next one is production and performance sensitive uh, workloads um that is your premium ssd and for standard ssd is your web, uh, web servers lightly used enterprise applications and dev and test environments and the standard ssd is for your backup uh, and non frequent uh, access uh, data uh, data which you want to preserve it for long time right 
it's like a, like for example plop storage so all those things we are still going to cover this is just a high uh, level overview of the storage part and as you can see um, from the disk size perspective uh, you you get the highest disk availability is with ultra disk right and then you have um, the others which are 32 terabytes uh, with a premium standard and uh, a standard HDD right the max throughput is 2000 Mbps uh, for uh, ultra disk uh, whereas um, it actually reduces further right yeah and the max IOPS is the best for ultra disk uh, and it actually reduces uh, till uh, standard HDD yeah so it all depends on the usability for your uh, environment I mean what sort of uh, performance you are looking forward from your virtual machine based on that you're going to design your uh, compute or your memory and your storage right all right uh, so here are some of the uh, important links which you can use for um, for your training purpose okay and um, I'll show you this link uh, in in the comment section so you can actually uh, or sorry in the description section section so that you can actually uh, go through it uh, all right great um, that's all for now guys uh, uh, please do click on the subscribe icon and the bell icon to get notified uh, with the latest videos um, until next time have a nice time and keep watching and keep learning thank you